Sometimes taxonomy can be weird, and your favorite dinosaur can no longer be your favorite dinosaur, at least not by name. This is what happened last month to a theropod with one of the coolest names, Saurophaganax, the Lord of the Lizard Eaters. Saurophaganax is known from the Morrison Formation, dating to the late Jurassic and sharing an environment with famous dinosaurs such as Allosaurus, Diplodocus, Apatosaurus, and Stegosaurus. Its holotype material is highly fragmentary, so its identity has long been contested. In December, researchers assessing the validity of Saurophaganax found that the referred material is actually chimeric, meaning it is made up of several distinct taxa. Much of the referred material, such as chevrons and an atlas, was actually representative of a sauropod rather than a theropod. The holotype, a neural arch, was too fragmentary to confidently assign Saurophaganax to either theropoda or sauropoda. Because of this ambiguity with the holotype, Saurophaganax was determined to be a nomen dubium, essentially not a real genus. The allosaurid material that had been referred to Saurophaganax was notably diagnostic, though. Elements like the postorbital were clearly from a species of Allosaurus, yet did not quite match any of the previously described species. So they assigned this material to be the holotype for a new species, Allosaurus annex, the lord of the Allosaurs. In taxonomy, names and placements are constantly changing, and as tempting as it can be to get attached to a cool name, remember, nothing is forever.